Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Steve, thank you so much for your time. This was such a cool movie. I uh, love when I get to see a new story, a unique story. And for this, the payoff was was excellent and uh, totally unexpected. Sandra, that means the world to me that you liked it, that you watched it first and that you liked it. It's uh, that's really a dream for me. So thank you so much. I'm glad you loved it. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. What was what were these early drafts like? Because it's kind of a it's a refreshing and it's a kind of a light story but it's really complicated to kind of get these characters to their final destination in the end without seeing it coming so what were those early drafts like for you you know um I am Jandra I'm like lazy and then I don't love rewriting so I really try to make it as good as possible on the first pass so honestly there was uh, one draft and then uh, I got notes from like my my four people that are my top readers. And then I did a pass at that, which was just mostly tweaks. And then that was ultimately what it became. There's like a little bit as we move forward, I like dug in on some characters and like I made some cuts because there was a lot more monologues and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was it was it was just taking the time to map it all out in that in that first draft of just figuring out like how to the the Easter eggs to plant to keep this mystery alive, mm -hmm. but also to not let that get in the way so you're not ahead of any of the twists, and also that it doesn't get in the way of like your ultimate goal and what the movie's really about is two people finding each other and falling in love and finding solace in that. Mm -hmm. Even though this is a love and a comedy, I love Zoe's portrayal. It's so aloof and it's kind of like, I'm here to be helpful, but maybe I'm not here to be helpful. And no. you just never, never know. Did you give her some real clear direction on how you wanted her to come across? Because the way she did that was cool. And it really kept me on the edge trying to wait to see the other shoe drop. You know, I think it's uh, it's partially because I have a, a background in sitcoms and comedy, and that's that's my bread and butter. So I I really always had them lean into the comedy, and I wanted that to be because I knew there was plenty of elements. There's a plenty of like heavy dramatic elements in the story, but I wanted to make it feel like because it's ultimately about these people falling in love, right, and find and finding each other. And I think that's such a euphoric and wild time where you're like kind of giddy. So I didn't want to lose that sense. And I knew like focusing on that, the moments that needed to have weight, the moments that needed to have like that mystery and intrigue would rise to the surface because I thought they were relatively clear. And it was also just, an, it was also a, such a process in the edit of like finding like, okay, how much is too much? How much is too little? So, you know, you'd get mostly, I, I was leaning into the comedy, but then would do a take like, okay, let's do one take where let's be a little bit, let me give me, give me just a little bit more of a look that shows something different. Um, so, you know, it was a dance, but I was lucky that these actors are just so amazing. Um, truly cannot say enough great things about them that it made my job so much easier because they had great instincts and are so smart and, um, and brought a lot to the table. So it made my job uh, just a delight. Mm -hmm. Finn, Finn's character, Bart, really kind of tugs at our heart as we travel along with him. When we meet him, it's clear he's had some difficulties in his past. And as he's in this uh, love relationship now with Vienna as they travel to their destination, you feel, you feel sorry for him, you feel sad for him. And then as their love grows, we see him start to blossom. Mm -hmm. Are there tricks to kind of telling a story of self-love while telling a love story with another person and finding that happy that happy medium? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really uh, great question because I think, you know, you, you can't really love somebody else if you don't like yourself. So I think that's so much of the journey for Finn is like recognizing like of, of coming out of this cocoon, right? To, uh, for Bart to kind of awakening and rediscovering his passion and his zest for life and his ability to take a leap of faith, even in spite of things being illogical. Mm -hmm. And I think that so much of it is like, he has gained confidence in himself and in doing so is able to give himself to somebody else to, you know, to relinquish control a little bit. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know if I answered the question, but I think, yeah, so much of it is like, you need to 
have faith and love for yourself in order to give that to somebody else. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Beautiful oh. film, very cool and creative. And I thank you for your time. Oh, it was wonderful. I, I, I really, I mean, that is, what is, is that a vase back there with the, with the, that's amazing. Yeah, it has a, you know, I have these dreams of the, the plant growing like super long, like a curtain yeah. to look like a cool background, but yeah, it's a string of pearls plant. I mean, it looks like the coolest chia pet I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a Steve. pleasure, Yandra. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.